Before they go to prison, they are as human as the ordinary person. They have lives that include life partners. This is how Ava, taken away the minute they put on the yellow uniform and get a room that will be their home for whatever period of time, the judge confers upon them. Some get the life sentence. While they may eventually accept their situation, some human desires do not disappear overnight. Is there a time that men meet women somehow? No. We don't have that privilege as yet in Uganda, probably in the future. It will be there because it is a fundamental right. Mike Mukula, an MP who sits on the committee that looks into prison affairs, says conjugal rights have got to be effected. And perhaps he knows better what the prisoners go through as he has once been in their shoes during his stay in prison. The solution, in my own view, is that in order to meet the international standards, we are going to push for a law on conjugal rights. Once we have the bill brought before parliament, I will support it overwhelmingly because I think that um, these are rights that must be extended to the population. Dr. Johnson Biabashija, the Commission of Prisons, says that the country is not yet ready for this. We are still a pre-industrial society. If you go on the street there, if you went there yourself, you are not a prisoner. But you go and meet your boyfriend on the street and kiss him. Everybody will say, hey, 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 hey. why? <laughs> so why do you want to have sex in the prison? <laughs> when you cannot easily <laughs> have sex outside. It is a discreet, <laughs> it is a discreet affair, sex is a discreet affair, and we don't have that discreetness in our prisons as yet. Worryingly, however, is the fact that the congestion of the prisons has turned some men into homosexuals, something the commissioner does not deny, even though HIV is on the rise amongst prisoners. Asked why he then does not provide condoms to the prisoners, he says. Because in Uganda, homosexuality is a criminal offense. If I give these people condoms, I will be abetting that offense. Otherwise, reasonably, if I was to be reasonable, without the outside pressures, without the political connotations, I would definitely give these people condoms. So that those who want to engage in the, in the, in the sexual activities, they should do it safely. Currently, a comprehensive serial survey is taking place at the prisons, supported by Atlanta-based Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. They gave us a $5 million grant to carry out this survey. It is now doing entry screening, intra screening and exit screening. So I will know all the dynamics of HIV AIDS in the prisons. The current survey will determine the percentage at which homosexuality could be contributing to HIV compared to 2008 HIV serial survey done here. Because the serial survey we did was 11 percent. The serial survey we did for females was 13. So if there was intra prison transmission of HIV. Why is it higher than the females? Even when results may show that it is not the case, the prisoners are still entitled to having sex with their wives, girlfriends, boyfriends and husbands. The condoms also have to come with this. But it does not look like this will happen very soon. Florence Nalimba, NTV.